odds. I, mean, I don't think, you know, the odds might shift uh, like at a massive level, but I think our belief in FaZe can't quite shift all that much. I still think coming into this, they're able to have the reset. These are experienced players, some of the best players to touch the game in Cold Zera and Nico. So I think they're going to be just fine here on Dust 2. And a chance for them to just set their feet in and calm it down and realize they're up against an opponent in complexity that can cause this upset. If for some reason they came into this undervaluing the ability of complexity, there's, there's no reason to be doing it now. No, I tend to agree. I mean, you did see just the tip of the iceberg, Jason, uh, when Nico was uh, was getting all those kills over at the, the outside area of Nuke with, with the AK-47. So, yeah, a little bit more of that, and, and you could be sure that it's going to be an amazing game here for, uh, for FaZe. And he's, you know, this is the crazy thing. He's surrounded by a lot of people who could do exactly the same thing. Setup comes in here now from the catwalk onto the A-bomb side. They're going to be rushing right down. I like this. The Glock's trying to get them close and catching Bamas out of the open. He could have gone down, but Rain is there in the crossfire. And that puts a big slowdown on complexity. Blame if now a little bit late to the party, but with a strong headshot. And now they should be able to get the bomb plant. It's a three on three, and things have actually switched quite a bit. As long as Blame if is in the back here, and he could maybe try and flank them in for the retake, that's going to be huge. No kills yet. Retake is still on, and these grenades are doing damage, but not enough for any kill yet. Now down in CT spawn, Blame if is going to be found. Then it's just all on Rush. One versus three. Great retake coming in right here, and they're going to overpower Rush in the end. A moment of real worry there, but a nice start for FaZe. Yeah, that was uh, that was a really powerful retake. That's a long time for Blame F to try and make that rotation from long back towards CT spawn to get that flank, especially with the Glock poking up and trying to get that kill at range. And that just left those two isolated players. Way too many weird fights for them to have to worry about. Excuse me, it was a P250 that he lost out on. It was a nice attempt for complexity, though, but much like Nuke, they'll get the plant, they'll lose the pistol around, and we're going to have a buy-up in the second. And remember, this is what gave them the power to grab a lead early on in that first half of Nuke, was that they were able to deal damage in this round behind the Force Buy. On Nuke, they got three kills. Let's see what they can do here on Dust2. But they tagged Brogy through the mid-doors. That was a scout on Poison doing a bit of damage. But yeah... FaZe won the pistol on Nuke and the following two rounds, and then, then Complexity just went wild on But they have no them. money built up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Complexity reset that economy so, so early due to their performance in the second round. So BlameF going to lead the way with an AK-47. Config's got the other one. Putting, uh, putting their faith and trust in uh, the Danish, their Danish colleagues, something that I've always found difficult. I can't imagine why, Jason. <laughs> Feel like, feel like it's unjustified in a lot of ways. Um, <laughs> I'd ask you to explain why, but you'd be in a position where you couldn't, you couldn't actually share any of it. So that's my, it's my shield. No, those are those are s stories that can't be told. <laughs> Self-incriminating in most of them, a whole lot of issues. That too. Nick goes down on long with a scout. All those uh, smokes are gonna make it a little bit tricky, but he does a lot of damage onto Rush. This should be getting a free bomb party. Oh wow! <laughs> That's, that's quite something. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. He's just trying to play retake. A long route to run against this scout. They would love to get it out of his hands. Rain does take a tag. So does Coldzera. Low HP, and now it's time for the AK-47s to do their job. Clean up some of these kills. There's only the one kit on board, and if that gets dropped, it must be picked up. Here's the retake. Two quick kills, and finally Rain in response, but Rush chimes in for one more, and it all falls away. FaZe dropped the second round. Yeah. Uh, well, if we get a replay of that, sh that first shot from Rush, I don't know. Make sure no children are around. This is really something. Look at this. Just such a nice peek. <laughs> and Nico just laughing it off. I appreciate that. But uh, Complexity doing even better. They don't just uh, make it expensive. They actually win the round. And it wasn't even the AKs necessarily. I mean, they did, they did a good job, but it was Rush and that double deagle. Yeah, and all you, I mean, if you're Nico, all you really can do is kind of laugh it off like that. I mean, that's just a stunning shot. Blame F leading the way on Catwalk again. It's all five deagles for FaZe. They've got a couple flashbangs as well if they want to go for a peek, but nothing that they can really hope to fight with unless they get a nice pick or two at range before the hit comes in. Five deagles and two flashbangs.
Again, FaZe, exactly the kind of team that can make this work. We've all seen Nico's Deagle get into action. Definitely Rain as well. So, let's see. Chad was talking about how prepared Complexity looked on Nuke, and I, I agree there were so many signs of, of them having done a lot of research. And it'd be interesting to see if the same thing is going to be true on Dust too. if we're going to see some more signs of them just having a good read of what's coming. This time it looks like it's going to be a bit of a B attack, and I imagine if they put up a smoke and flash their way through, it's going to be very hard to stop them, even with a couple of people inside. No smokes, just a straight flash around the corner, and the MAC-10 will open the whole thing up, and that's the only two kills they really needed to get into the site here, so things just looking good. Config continuing to fight, and that might be just a little bit ridiculous, especially with the AK-47. Ooh, Blame F gonna cut them off. And, oh, Rain already got caught. Oh, giving it up, but Nico can't get the gun out in time. Rain might as well peek and fight for the AK-47. That's a pretty nice gift laying on the ground, but Blame F is gonna find him. Two to one for complexity. Yeah, Deagles don't really have the output that we were looking for. The AK is not saved. And so we'll see. Single smoke, probably just for the cross. See if they run long or if they try and do something else fun. Boost up on catwalk, maybe. I still miss those boosts. I I, I miss the, the sort of the mid crunches that you sometimes see uh, attempted in the past where you'd have like a double boost on catwalk. You'd have one guy in middle you'd, and you'd really try and fight that T side. They're all going to be out on long, which is interesting. They don't have a flashbang though, so let's see what they could do. Blame it around the corner and there's a lot of targets there. Mac 10 on the other side will chew them up for sure. Still, nice attempt. <laughs> they had the right read. It's a quad kill on config, though. Yeah, but without that flashbang, you can see the issue. As soon as Complexity realize the stack is there, they take some very narrow angles. They don't wide swing, and that neutralizes all the number of players that FaZe had. So an easy cleanup for config with his quad kill, and it is three to one for complexity. Alp is out in the hands of Nico, M4 is to surround it, and here we go. FaZe need to get started on defense. Oh, wow. There's Nico in the middle, taking down Blamer. That's such a good start here to round number five. But Rush comes in, and he could have easily got that double kill. Now they're swinging against the AWP, but it's also locked in. Nico trying to help out Rain, and in, in the process of which actually just gets traded. So a three on three, and a big chance here for Complexity. If they win this round, it's huge, and the Molotov on Rain will take him down. This is a big problem. Brokey and Cold Sierra, they need a heroic return into this one. Otherwise, it's going to be such a good start. And there's already Poison going down. Two on two, and... I almost think they could run to B at this point in time. You know, look how aggressive Cold Zare and Brokey are both being. Oboe. Ooh, that's a nice off angle. They know where both of them are. The bomb is going to book it. Brokey has to get aggressive here to win this fight as soon as possible. And Oboe in the sight. That's a tough headshot to hit. It is so barely just exposed, and Brokey is going to go down. What a great win for Oboe at a two on one. He's got four kills in the round so far, and he picks up the AWP. This is, this is wild. Four to one, and complexity just seems unstoppable. I have to imagine that FaZe is just caught off by the pace. Like, the fact that nobody yeah. from complexity is slowing down from these fights, it's, I, I feel like FaZe is used to a little bit more finesse in their opponents, and complexity is just bringing this brute strength style. I mean, you could, you could see it out on long, right? As soon as uh, sort of Rain, Rain is actually falling back, Nico wants to get in there and help him, and they, you know, at the end of getting picked apart and just, oh, <laughs> well, Nico, he got, he got found. He's playing hide and seek, and it ended badly. Man, I'm, I'm so impressed with how Blamef has got this team working together and playing on pretty much every map we've seen them in. Yes. What a what a cool experiment this complexity team is turning out to, to have been. Nice kill as Cold Zera peeks into it. Five on three. Flashed around the corner. Rain gonna be dropping down. They'll hear that obviously. And now just Creeping in with the AWP, hoping for uh, an overextension for someone to, to go take a look. But both Bimas and Rain are uh, standing in place for the minute. 
And complexity, I mean, there's kind of a hold up where you just sort of say, hey, let's let's give him 20 seconds to make a mistake. Uh, let's give him a little bit of a chance to do something. If they don't, well, then we'll just group up and take a bomb site. But why not see if you if they're going to give you something for free? <laughs> nice shot from Rain. Trying to get a second one. The Moss is stuck in the fire. He's going to go down. There goes Rain as well. Fifth <laughs> so round for complexity on the board. Someone had to go first, and it was Rush. Feels bad, doesn't it? <laughs> he's been doing that. Uh, he's another one of those guys who's kind of been the entry fraggers, uh, entry fragger for his team pretty much throughout his career. Yeah. Uh, much like Apex. Although I feel like there's got to be a decent amount more stress in being the entry fragger for North American teams um, than for European teams. Uh, yeah, I think you might well be on the same time. In every fan cam, there's there's a pretty good representation of Brazilian people. I mean, they they love Counter Strike in Brazil. We know that, but it's it's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's wild, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's really cool to see. They're just lending fans out to all the different teams, which is great. Play math. Gonna challenge that smoke, but not go through it. I mean, it's not even the time zone. The default spread. They're still still early, isn't it? I think they're the, about the same time zone as uh, as me. Maybe yeah. an hour ahead or behind. So it's got to be around, uh, you know, 11 a.m., noon. All right. It's not too bad. It's They're perfect time it. for Counter-Strike. Well, it always is. Seventh round here. And, yeah, as you said, a default spread coming out for Complexity. Just... Again, hoping to uh, to catch someone, maybe get a bit of info. They've seen no one in middle, um, haven't heard anything going on either. Mid mid to B split could be pretty huge here, especially if they could just, I mean, if they could win war fight, one fight here. They're going to be all the way in middle, so so there's going to be very little delay. They're going to put up the grenades, and then they're going to go for it. Only poison coming in from upper dark, and in the middle, Cold Sierra, smoking that off, hoping to take a fight. This is a risky play, but I actually love it. Let's see if he's going to get rewarded for it. 40 seconds. And Nico, or actually Rain coming down in the middle to try and help out, and that's too early. He gets <laughs> dropped, and now they're waiting. That smoke is about to go away. They're just waiting him out, testing his patience, and they know they should know this is coming. Cold Sierra back in the mix. Nice shot from Brokey, but Cold could only get the one, and Brokey, a champion at the back of the bomb side right now. He almost gets the triple, and that would have won them the round for sure. Now it's a 2 1 2, and the bomb is going to be planted. There are, this is a one Molotov left on Nico, and that's what they have to retake this with. Just picked up a kit as well. He wants that AK, and he's got it now. Oh, but Rush, he goes for the early peak, and Nico goes down, shuffling weapons. He's going to be continuously getting more and more frustrated. One versus two, and Bamas, he's trying to find anyone to peek. There's the first headshot. He has no kit. That was on Nico. He might have to go back for it, unless Brokey's calling it out that he's got one in the sight. Dropping down, still no kit, and now I think it's pretty much faded away, his chance of winning this round. Hoping for a peek from Blame F. He's going to get it, but not the kill. Must chase him down. Bomb's going to go off, and Complexity now with a commanding lead. Six to one. Shuffling those weapons around, that's... You kind of, you understand the idea of it, but that absolutely did backfire a little bit. I act I'm actually so impressed they, well, they slowed down to wait for that smoke to disappear, sorry. Yes. That's what I was going to call for. Not, I mean, they're just making, they're making phase sweat on the defense. The mid to B smokes, everything is put up. Cold Zero has all that pressure. And when they hit the pause button and just sit and wait, two players go back to double doors. You're forcing phase to make an information play because Cold has himself smoked off. He has no idea what's coming. He's not hearing footsteps. Players in CT spawn have no idea what's happening. So they almost need to get the information so that they know where to go because during this whole period of silence, complexity, Complexity could have all fallen back to mid and readjust to hit, to hit a different side of the map. So FaZe is just getting outplayed and they're losing the information battle. Yeah, it's a lot of patience to have to hold if you're rain down there in CT spawn. And you know, you know, if you go too late, the, the B defense could be wiped out. So you end up going just a second early and, and that's also the wrong move. Op on Nico, obviously saved from the previous round. Taken away from Blame F there, but yeah, this is such a tremendous start. Six to one. Nothing I actually uh I actually in my mind was thinking 
this is gonna be one of those maps where FaZe just, you know, blow right back and end up winning it like 16-8 or something. Just, you know, really just have a great, uh, a great game. But they're struggling right now. Going out long though. Ovo leading the charge. A lot of flashbangs behind him to set up that play. They don't want to chase it down. But that's some early long control, which uh, we'll see what they, what they make of. Oh, well, not the best start now that Poison goes down to Nico. Don't know if he did he jump over for Nico to see. That smoke like looked like it should have blocked everything. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, it was only a matter of time before FaZe, you know, had a had a nice five on four advantage. Problem is, this is the only gun they get to play with. Complexity gonna stick around and wanna challenge it. Oh, Nico, a little bit blind, but he almost was able to get the flick. He saw the body jump. Can, I before almost wanna the see flashbang popped. I want to see a replay of how close that was. It looked like it actually hit the light pole. Maybe not. Oh, nice flick from Conflict. That's lightning fast. And as you said, that was the only gun. So now the rest of it would have to be crazy deagle kills. Waiting down here and Blame F. He's going to be probably a little bit upset. But that also, he saw two people. So they pretty much know what's coming next. And three on three. Again, that AK-47 is a valuable weapon for FaZe to have. Obviously, winning the clutch here would be, or winning the three on three would be amazing. But it's so low percentage. They're going to boost over the smoke. Cold Zero with that AK-47 wants to find something. But yeah, if they're actually going to go for this with hopes of winning it, it has to start right now. And nothing happening. Now going to start swinging around the smoke. There's a flashbang available. Oboe able to get the headshot. He controls it so well. Look at what he's brought down to. And Brokey went down at long. Another round for complexity. They've got a six-round lead. See, okay, so he does jump over. That's why Nico is able to see the, him first time around. And this is the second one. Let's see, he's... All right, he looks like he's dead on him. That is actually unbelievable. What, he's shooting right underneath his arm? He probably deserved that kill. Yeah. Probably put a hole in his, his jacket. What a great clothing. replay. Appreciate it. Seven to one. Round number nine swinging in here. Three men out at long, and a late flank around like the push, and they almost get both kills. Rain is going to be going down two for one for Nico, though, and that is how you bring it back. Can't obviously design that, but Poison is still fighting, and it's a two on two. Blame have taken down Cold Sierra. He turns for the flashbang. He's out in the open here, Nico, and low on health. I can't believe Complexity fought their way back into this round. Yeah, this is this is crazy. What a great shot. Pins Blame F's head to the wall behind him. And Poison with 12 health in a one versus two. Now he might as well just pick it up and get into the bomb site. Make the wrist jump. Hope that Nico's gonna miss, but he's not there. They're relocating it. If he can find Oh, this is a bull plant spot. <laughs> and he's gonna get away with it. Molotov's gonna come in. He's gotta bail out right now. Nico doesn't take the opportunity for the shot. Poison still thinks he might be out at long. Oh, great flick, great miss. And does he realize he's close up? He hears the drop and Poison holding the trigger. What? And there it is, one more. One HP and eight rounds. How has he won that clutch? Oh, that is, that is thoroughly disgusting. He's on one health at the end. I don't know. This is this is just meant to be, isn't it? I can't believe that's that. so crazy. He gets tagged. The, <laughs> the patience. I mean, look at that. Even his team can't believe it. They're like, what? He just won it. Nobody can believe it. Complexity can't believe it. FaZe can't believe it. And now they're Poison probably it. can't believe it. The viewers can't believe it. <laughs> it's... Maniac can't believe oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy. Yeah. This is a rough day, but also funny. <laughs> They decide to roll into the B-bomb site this time around, just probably guessing the economy a little bit and saying, let's, this feels right, everything else has been working, why not go for a B-rush? About to be 9-1. Uh, what are you supposed to do if you're phase? Like in that last round, right? Nico even got like a double out towards long. You had a situation where Poison had to come out of the long cave through a smoke with an op to fight against an M4 and he still wins that battle. Like, it's not even necessarily the, the one on two that's the craziest part of that is the way that they just come back in the round. 
Like, things are going the way of FaZe. The, the, the two-for-one shot should have put them in a near-unlosable situation. And unfortunately for FaZe now, like, they don't... They have, they have to just get on the board. They have to just start winning. They have one round going into number 11. So you, you just need more volume of wins on the board. Yeah, this needs to be a, a, a really, really good... I mean, a five-round run at the end. Get six rounds on the board, and, and then, then we can pick it up again. Rain sticking around for more action. Could probably justify falling back. Cold Zero is going to be catching blame. If so, 5-3 to three lead early on in this 11th round. And again, this is where you want all the fundamentals to kick in. This is where Faye should feel real relaxed about how to win it. Wouldn't have to take many more risks here. I don't mind Cold Zero pushing up, but, but ultimately, I... yeah, this should be a clean round. There's no comfort in this game for for phase for the rest of the way. Like when you're down nine to one, there's there's nothing even the three on five that is going to make you feel good. They're at least playing it smartly. Everyone's kind of paused and waiting as as Cold Air is making this flank. So they're letting that come to fruition. Poison's doing what he can out mid. He's about to walk into an AWP, and surely, yeah, he doesn't win that one. All that's left is to play at long. Yeah, and. They see it coming. They've got Cold Zero flanking them. This is all very well set up. So good round. This is all they needed. One kill on Brokey. That's just absolutely fine. They're going to be... Uh, they could have maybe tried to save another orb in middle, but I guess they didn't want to go the double orb route, which is also, you know, f just fine. But finally, a second round on the board from FaZe. Since winning the pistol, by the way, Jason. Jesus. That's not an ideal situation at all. At all. Well, we'll see what they can do with it now. Nine to two. Nico's gonna take an aggressive peek and then get a back away. He got a kill with that earlier, and this might be helpful. Rain won the first battle out long last round. He's gonna do it again here. Finds that opening kill onto Config. Smoke is out to defuse any Molotov thrown his direction, and there it is. Yeah, still in some danger back here. Another Molotov to force him back into the corner. Eight cheese would be even better, but they don't have any. Now, the, here's the question, though. I mean, Rain, he's in a little bit of a distress out there. If they over-rotate, you could see that's what Poison is thinking about. Or not even over-rotate, but just over-react. If they say, oh, no, let's go get Rain, and, and then that ends up going badly. Friendly smoke to help him out. So that's just exchanging grenades into that corner. They've got two more Molotovs. They could do this again. Keep, keep throwing the grenades. Yeah, but is it worth it? Look at what they have left. They have they've so got to use it. that stuff to get onto the bomb site itself. So even if you kill Rain, it's I mean it's almost a victory of sorts in his favor if he's forced you to use all that utility. Oh. Here comes the Molotov, but Rain was already leaving. Oh, checkmate! They had no more smokes. That would have been the final play for Complexity. I'm so sad. Well, four versus five. 38 seconds, and a nice shot there from Nico. He's not playing around any longer. There's a Molotov on top of him, and he's going to go down to Blamef, who finds a second kill. Quick back-to-back -back ones coming through, and a oh, Poison just needed to pull the trigger, but I guess he was a little bit shocked from getting shot in the face, and it's a one versus three for Blamef here. 20 seconds. I'm not even sure getting the bomb plant down is possible at this point in time. Maybe just that default plant, but that also locks him into the bomb side, which he might just be anyway. He tries it once, goes for a bit of a spray, and now eight seconds, and He's going to go straight for the bomb plant. Oh, actually fakes in another person to try and fight him, and he finally does get dropped. So it cost them a fair bit to get the round, but FaZe, again, I'm not even sure they care that much. Right now, this is about just a confidence way to build your way back into the game. Nine to three. They need the next three rounds. Yeah, they, they need to claw themselves back into this half. What a what a tense round for Rain that entire time. Blamef almost does a great job of taking this round. Some spectacular kills to get into the site. This is that kill on the offer. That's a nasty little angle over the smoke. And Blamef just ran out of options and ran out of time. And there's another pick. Nico's done that to Blamef twice so far in this game. He's looking for that exact pick and the nade to keep them back. That's an impromptu mid to be smoke. It looks like there's a gap in it as well, but Nico's burning. And Cold Zero with a double op setup is able to spot that out. A double kill for him. And Brokey in support. Two players left for complexity. Cold Zero's on point. He's going to get four. And he's got phase up to the same amount of rounds. I appreciate that Nico is trying to revive the, uh, you know, long lost tradition of oping mid CT side. That's, that's been dead for years. 
Yeah, well, I think... I would guess, I would imagine that's something they've spotted that Complexity's willing to make that drop down so frequently because he got that exact pick on Blame F earlier. Yes. Then he just got it in that previous round and he's gone for it an another one or two times in this half. So I, I have to imagine that's something that they're, that that's part of the game plan is to take that peek and say, you know, they're a little bit, they're a bit lackadaisical on covering, you know, the drop down to suicide. So let's just make sure we can punish them or, or at least go for the shot. You have an opportunity to get the pick. Maybe time for Smith to uh, revive his career. Get back in if people are orping middle. Now yeah, that CZ is still taking, you know, a whole day to pull it out. Yeah, that's the issue, isn't it, though? But <laughs> it's one of them. If you buff the CC, flusher becomes unreasonable, so you've gotta, gotta keep it in check right there. Yeah, the only thing to neutralize flusher is sacrificing Smith's career. <laughs> And Sorry, you took one for the team. Choices had to be made. <laughs> it's for the for the good of everyone, really. <laughs> the greater good. <laughs> Rain and Nico up at the A site. They don't have that many grenades here on Complexity, so I feel like this next round of grenades, it's... Oh, they might just throw this and could leave Config to jump down, and then the rest of them are going to go for a bit of, a little bit of a, a split towards B. But Rain is so close here. They think they've just checked catwalk. They think they have that control. Rain's gonna go check. He sees no one, and he immediately makes the reaction. This is great informational play, great reaction coming out of phase. I think they're finally starting to play their way back into this game. Poison going down to Cold Zero. That's the bomb as well. Dropped in plain sight. 20 seconds now. He's sneaking out middle, but Blame F is gonna get caught. And yeah, this whole round has been read by phase, and that's Rain making that one play, just peeking through the smoke. So brilliant. He's only gonna get the one kill, but that'll that'll completely, uh, I guess, undersell just how much he did in this round. Yeah, the information he gathered was was massive. That's uh, that's really nice. And Phase now, thankfully, coming back into the game, four in a row down the stretch, and finally in this round 15, the final round of the half, they've got complexity out of money. Scout on poison, Mac 10s picked up. Otherwise. Wow, four Mac 10s. All right. Well, you'd have to imagine this is going to be. They have the spawns for a B hit. It looks like. I'm I'm interested in what they're going to do with these Mac 10s. You have to think it's going to be super aggressive. Nico, <laughs> lucky that's not an AWP. Yeah, I mean, I actually thought that made sense. You know, go B. Just try and rush it. See if you, especially if you thought Cold Zero is going to be there again with the AWP, could have made some some yeah. amount of sense. Well, maybe it's the Mac 10s going to attack him in middle. If he keeps speaking like that, they might might want to go for it. Up catwalk we go. It's complexity. They're going to clear close catwalk, at least force someone back. Flashbang, and nobody is here for the moment. But this will pull Rain back to railing. Nico's here tagged up, so Rain kind of has to be committed since Nico doesn't have the op for an extended fight. And it's going to be the two players in middle who are tested. Oh no, yeah, and that's not good news when the Mac-10s are coming. They're all around the corner. Brokey's going to be here, and he gets a big double, continues it into a triple. That is a massive hold. This could have definitely backfired, but Brokey standing tall. Nice triple on him. He was almost dead at the end there, but 9-6 to six overall. Still a really, really good first half in favor of Complexity, and they just need another six or seven rounds here, and they'll be good to go. Let's see if they can make that happen at the second half. That's coming up after the break chance to do so well they they did they did kind of wake up in that first half they rattled off the final five rounds as you can see at the top of your screen phaser on fire to kick things off in the second half here on dust two remember this is uh you're just joining us oh dear what a smackdown hold the phone it's gonna be a b rush for the final four players blame f He's got a teammate with him. There's Oboe. One more scalp is taken, and the forces of FaZe are being whittled down and shut down, and no issues for complexity. Uh, I was going to say this is the, the upper bracket final at the spring the spring finals for Blast Premier, so neither of these teams will be eliminated. The loser would drop down and face the winner of the series that we have coming up right after this, which is going to be Navi versus Vitality. Yeah, another exciting game that's coming up uh, for sure. Have you noticed that every time we cut to Config and he's drinking something, it's another can of soda? Like, it's a different one every time. Uh, I haven't. Well, I have, Jason. I pay attention okay. to these things. Man, you're... 
What Nico's playing soccer, so there's obviously oh. not a whole lot of stress going on. No, maybe this is part of you're the plan. Gonna get, you're going to get so turned on by this strategy, aren't you? Yeah, look at that. He, they're showing the ball. Obo, he's he's worried. You can see he's scared. They actually shot it back at him, I think. All right. Wasn't it like the old World War II thing where like the the captain would kick the soccer ball, punt the soccer ball in the air to to tell everyone to charge? I d that sounds like a myth, but you I, may Yeah, I saw it in a movie, but well, but maybe I'm just must putting true. investing too much in the movies. Yeah, well, you know, it's Legends of the Fall, so Okay. Well, people will tweet at us and correct us or, or confirm it. Here we go. Run boost going to be in. Is there going to be a double run boost? That'll be, that'll be twice the amount of fun. Yes, double run boost. Can't do more than that, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, well, it, it's double working. Double the pleasure, double the fun. They have double solved the it. I hope they win the run behind this. That would be justified. Oh, they're going to run down <laughs> into the waiting arms of Obo and Blame F. So they were so, so inspired by their own madness that, that they just decided to double down. Cool, I guess. I like that. I'm a big fan of the SWAT drop. I mean, it's much better than just sitting in the bombsite and waiting for your eventual demise for all the nades to come raining in. So, uh, yeah, cool stuff. Good way to get a plant. And look at the money that they have. I mean, after losing the first two rounds and, and getting no kills in the pistol, that's a decent amount of cash to bring into this. This is the replay, the best replay I've seen so far. Yeah, there we go. They, it's like, maybe it was like an invitation. Like, do you guys want to have a round where you just chill out and play, play some soccer? And then... And then the complexity said no. Shooting the ball is definitely Ironically, no. that that also happened on um, World War One, the Christmas truce, where both sides laid down their weapons and played a game of soccer together. That is very true. And um, well, yeah, we'll get into that later. Poison <laughs> goes down <laughs> right afterwards. It's a really big opening out here. But Master Tate down, Config, and that leaves Blamer for alone over at long. Still more people out here, but. Surely cannot stop the entire phase of clan that's on the other side. And indeed, he goes down. Good round here for Bamasa. Triple for him. And Obo in a lot of trouble. Looking for the headshot, but he's going to get taken. That's a flawless round for FaZe. After, as you pointed out, building all that money, they just uh, picked that right up. And that forces complexity to... I don't know if Rush wants to buy some pistols, but it's not going to be much more than that. I like this. I mean, that's that's FaZe just bullying their way into long control and also i mean establishing it early on in the half establishing their ability to control that corner in the very first gun round sends a nice little message to complexity and we're going to watch how that plays out for the rest of the half four deagles and a scout and that scout is tagged down to 29 hp from the awp of brokey phase uh, just four rounds back on this t side of dust two pop flash for rain he's gonna turn the corner there's one to the right it's rush and that deagle has been deadly all day long it continues one more in the cards and rush is only gonna be able to get the tag but he's done the damage a real opportunity for complexity to take this back well that is gonna be uh just ice running in the veins of rush as he gets both those tags that's amazing just no fear at all Poison out here with a scout, and even if he's been tagged up, I mean, it's still a good chance he could do some more. Oh, he's not going to be quite quick enough. Brokey, on the other hand, is lightning fast, it seems. Three on three, and I don't know, there's still a really good shot they can win this round on the phase side. I think, I don't know if Bimar saw that, but still a minute left. This is a nice little flank up catwalk. A good utility as well. Config and Obo both concentrated towards Long. Oh, and he missed the chance. I don't know if it was the footstep that caused Obo to turn or just a weird feeling, but Obo has his number. Cold Zera. Now his turn to flank up Catwalk, and you can see Brokey with the bomb just isn't moving. Waiting for Cold Zera to get to Catwalk, but again, the timing oh. of this is everything, and that's so strange. Blamef didn't even look towards mid, so he never saw this. Oboe's still watching, but he's pinned down at the corner boxes. And Oboe, one more chance for a headshot. It's not to be. Config is pinned down in the site. There's the jump to spot him out. He's really trapped. He needs backup. Blamef is about a second away. Nine seconds left in the round. Config is trying to be hard to find, and there comes Blamef with the spray. The bomb will be planted. Deep grenade landing on Brokey and softens him up just a little bit, but he can still win this round. Blamef has some armor, though. A little bit of a jump to see exactly where he is, and here comes the swing. He walks right into the headshot. A close round, but Brokey saves them at the end. 
Oh, man. If he had seen Cold Zero running down the middle there, that would have been such a giveaway. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, I'm so surprised to see Blamev jump across and not even peek towards it. But man, Rush has been delivering the goods, especially with the Deagle. He had that spectacular shot on Nico in the first half that allowed Complexity to win the second round. A 1D at long range. So FaZe has to be uh, has to be cautious. That does a that does a number on their economy. Easy to, easier to manage on the T side. Still have some cash left in the bank, but it's it's not anything special. And certainly here, any damage that's dealt by Complexity, even a losing effort, will go a long way. Nico's gonna get caught, and Oboe not able to transition to the second kill. There goes Config pushing into Upper Dark as well. And the rest of the stack is on Catwalk. Yeah, Rain, if he... Well, he managed to get uh, attacked anyway here. Nice back up from Brokey, trying to help out Rain a little bit, so otherwise they maybe could have just fallen down on top of him, but... Now it's looking really good. And I think what's even more important is this is about to be 11-9. So the gap has really closed up here. It's looking like it was about to go horribly wrong for FaZe on map number two. But I think they've got a good shot at actually making the full comeback and winning this one. I hope they do because I really want to see more of this. Inferno would be the closing map and we all love that. So let's see if uh, they can survive for another couple of rounds here, FaZe. I think they can. I think this should be a phase phase map. We should be getting a third out of this series. We deserve a third out of this series. We do. My, yeah. AWP on Brokey, same on Poison on the other side. And I think this is uh, the first time we've seen the op come out for Poison on the CT side. Yes. In round number six of the second half. Brokey on the other hand. He's been running wild with his AWP. He's up to 17 kills. He's topping the board on the phase side. Only on that by Blamef on 19 kills on the complexity side. Rush alone on long. Much more of a defense towards middle and catwalk. It's a pretty decent grenade to set it up. Poison though. He's just scoped up in that corner. The Molotov. See if it's going to force him back or not. I think he could have stuck around, but he's going to put out a grenade and that'll only do a little bit to Nico and Rain. Can't walk control for phase here. Man, Poison is really alone in this A side. That's making me nervous. Yeah, with nothing to really save him either. Just one flashbang. He doesn't have a smoke if they're to Molotov his position, so he's gonna be over on railing. There's the flashbang out. He's out. He's gotta fight for it. That's a risky jump. That's an even better flick. Holy hell. And he's gonna come back for more. He's got the line. Flashbangs must be used. Brokey's gonna challenge, and he misses his shot. They're lucky that Bimas is still alive, but blame F now. He comes and adds one more. It's a three on five post plant. And that was called Sierra in the middle. He was supposed to be the insurance policy for the afterplant, but that's gone now. They know exactly where the entire phase side is. This retake is looking incredibly good right now for complexity. Brokey, he's in trouble back here. They know exactly where he fired that AWP from, and he's got nowhere to hide. He's going to be going down. A single point of health left on Rush for the double, and that's complexity at 12 rounds. That first flick on Poison is nuts. That's, yeah, that's real filthy. Uh, it's, this is so fast. Oof. And this was an important one. Cold Zera, I guess because of that kill, maybe feeling like he was forced to help them try and get into the bomb site, but a little bit early. Obviously, Lurking probably heard all the rotation and knew he had a clean fight to CT spawn without anything coming from the B site, but but nothing works. And Nico there frustrated, I don't think because of the round or because of the game, but he missed maybe an easy shot or two on Rush when Rush was not looking at him. Yeah, can't really be doing that. Rush has been pretty deadly throughout this series so far. He's up at 15 kills right now, tied with Obo and Config. It's a really good team effort. Config wanted to try and see if he could do what Nico was doing in the first half. Almost gets the kill on Rain. It's not a bad start to the round. He's sticking around and now just no scoping through the smoke. Don't know if because I would advise not? that. <laughs> Never gonna stop it. Might as well just roll with the punches. Config gonna back up into the B-bomb site. Rain is gonna have to play the, the majority of this round with very little HP. So you have to think he's gonna be passive watching for the flank. 
the only other way that he's effective is if maybe he leads into a challenge against the AWP with that low HP. They're doing the same but thing. But it's going to be a tough round for him no matter what. Yeah, Cold Zero is back in T spawn this time though, and he's going to go over towards B. So we might want to lurk into the B bomb site and come towards mid in that fashion. They need to get past. Grenade takes care of Rain again. So soft from the earlier engagement, and they actually take a lot of damage. They're waiting for someone to peek, and no one's coming. Poison is just in the same position. The big difference is if, they, if, if he actually hits a shot, Blame if could peek behind it. Now he's going to look right over and a great double spray. He gets the last headshot falling off the ledge. And uh, you know, Cold Sear is going to get that one, but the bomb is down in A, so it doesn't even matter. One on three that he can never win. They're going to go look at him, and there's no reason why. Just, I mean, wait until maybe the clock is run down, but ultimately, it's going to be a 13th round, and... FaZe actually don't have the money to not just lose the round, but not get the bomb plant. Yeah, it's not an ideal scenario. There is a little bit of a benefit, though. The double off was taken away from Complexity. Actually, I think both ops are taken away for Complexity. No, Rush gets yeah. one right in the Ooh. last second, which, thank God. There's going to be money for another buy here on FaZe. It's not so much the money I'm worried about, but those catwalk hits are not effective whatsoever. That's twice now they've ran it, and twice now they haven't even gotten close to winning the round. So FaZe gonna take their first time out. Do and... You... Yep, go on. I was wondering, because last time they encountered Poison there, and he got, he got that one kill, and then he did a bit of damage. Maybe they thought, okay, listen, if he's alone on A, Let's do the same hit and then, you know, be way more aggressive in isolating him and then blame if is there. So that, you know, instead of encountering a, a solo or player, suddenly there's two. That's possible. I think the biggest issue with that hit was they used so much of the utility to get out and when and then they had no flashbangs to actually flash poison off the corner from that from the angle that he damaged them in the previous round. So I mean they they kind of paused over at Gandalf as you've as you so you've coined it many many moons ago and Blamef was given so much time to jump up onto the railing and grab a couple of kills. So um I just uh, I think a little bit of a mistake on the utility usage and not having the resources to cross by the AWP. So Cold Zero has that saved up and they're going to save around it. Complexity, a chance to get up to 14. They might 2-0 this. That would be... That would be spectacular. It already is spectacular. But, yeah, they're getting so close. Rush out here. All bleeding on the other side for Cold Sierra, waiting for the smoke to fade. They're just aiming at each other. No one knows yet. Cold Sierra will get the opening, and now Rush feeling a bit uncomfortable. It's going to be a pistol leading the charge. He'll get the one, but he knows that orb is back there. He doesn't want to overpeak it. Good spray and a great triple, and Rush will hold the round with the bomb down there at long as well. And yeah, good recovery. That's so filthy. No matter what happened on the other side of the map up Catwalk, that bomb is dropped and is secured. You even have the B defenders now pushing through to T-spawn. 14 to 9. Hello? Oh. Hello? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> that's... <laughs> Alright, that's uncharacteristic. We'll forget that ever happened. Nobody clipped that. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's move along. Oh, oh my oh. god. <laughs> definitely clip that though. Definitely, definitely clip that one. <laughs> Quake Zero is in the house. He just. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> 14 to 9, and a nice shot Ooh. from Brokey. Flashed and all. Didn't even matter. They are, they're at the end of the rope here. They must make this, these next rounds work. There's nothing that could, that's so hard to, to beat down complexity. They just keep fighting seemingly uh, completely unfazed by the fact that, well, FaZe are trying to fight back. Yeah, you walked right into that I one. I know, I couldn't get out. There's no good escaping from that. <laughs> you I saw it coming. Gave up. There's just basically, basically nothing you could do about that joke. Yeah. All right, five on four advantage. Nice off pick, off flash in, config out in the open. Obo, Molotov is gonna slow things down, but it doesn't matter. Poison's gonna start evening things up. He does get away. Four on three. If, if I'm brokey there, I might be wondering why? Why is no one looking catwalk? There's three people down the middle. How they? How is he loud? That's annoying. Or how is he allowed to even get away after the fact as well? Yeah. Man, they're going right at him too. I can't believe he gave up that angle. 
That would have been a great chance to thin out a couple of players. Complexity starting to take over upper dark, but it's all on poison here. There's a nade out. He's going to get aggressive. He tags them both. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Complexity have money issues of their own. I mean, and if this bomb goes down, they have a decision if they want to go for this or not. Pumas is sticking around. If he dies, then Obo has an HE grenade that he could actually kill one of them with. So it could be a bit interesting. It would be rain on the bomb side, so it wouldn't be him actually going down. But having a bit of a standoff on opposite sides of the smoke, and I guess it's it's entirely They're possible Pawson doesn't even know that he actually got any damage at all. Grenade goes a little bit further back, so Bimas will barely stay alive. And yep, they're going to be saving. I don't know if Poison would have known that he got the double tag there either. No, I don't. He was so blind when he took that shot. I don't think he had any idea. He just, I mean, that, that's actually a pretty nice shot from him and altogether. Peeking into the angle while blind and just pulling the trigger, you know you have it lined up correctly. 14 to 9. Op and AK saved for complexity. Config can buy. Russian poison can get dropped. Some Famas. It'll be interesting to see the decision. I, I'm imagining that they're going to. Buy here, Complexity. Blame F can drop Shorty, the AWP yeah. over, pick up an M4 himself. Config can buy whatever he wants. And Rush could be given a FAMAS, as I mentioned earlier. So I have to imagine that's still a pretty solid buy, even with a four-round lead. In my mind, it's worth the risk. I'm starting yeah. to come around, Anders, to riskier buys. It's, it's changing. It is. I mean, especially when you're playing this well. I guess you could say that if they don't, it's sort of a sign of discipline that they're saying, you know what, we've got the lead, let's not throw it away with the economy. Uh, but you could also read it as just a sign of, you know what, we're, we're winning this. It's meant to be. Let's not let's not slow down now. So an MP9 has been picked up, and see Config just having a conversation while they set this all up. But 14 to 10, it's not that Phase are so far behind, you know, mathematically that that it can't work out. It's just that they don't seem nearly as solid as Complexity do right now. Second all being picked up there on the CT side. This is not the phase clan that we've been used to seeing for the last couple of days. It's crazy to think of, ooh, that's a nice pick for Brokey. He's opened things up two rounds in a row now. He got that pick previously that's towards long A, and with that pick in middle, it's going to be a free round for phase. Rushing B on the back of it, maybe just lucky they got the pick in general, but Complexity is going to call for a save once again. That's a, that's a harsh way to lose the round. But this gives us some time. The progression of Complexity in this blast spring series over time remember this tournament started all the way back in january where complexity had just put this team together and was handed probably the most difficult group of that stage in january in london yep. they upset astralis and they qualified to move forward and now you fast forward three to four months or whatever it's been yeah four months or so of them actually just boot camping in europe and learning how to play this game together, and they're a force to be reckoned with at this stage. It's, I mean, yeah, it started off so well, but yeah, they could have maybe slowed down in the meantime. It seems like things are just increasing uh, all the time for them. No one's going to die after the, uh, the bomb, so uh, sort of a weird round. Just one kill and it's done. And here we go, here it is. I, Ooh, he I think saw this, him. I think this completely, he did see him. I think this complexity team actually has like a really, really cool mix of players. When you look at Config and Rushed, experience, they've been on the big stages. When you look at Poison and Oboe, young potential. Blame F having to prove himself as an in-game leader. Poison and Oboe having to prove themselves as potential stars. They have such a good mix of players that are working together so well. This is going to be a dangerous team regardless of the result here in the series. Yeah. They actually want to try to do the same thing with Brokey snapping down the middle. They don't get the kill, but they still want to go for it. Obo going to be standing up, tapping for the smoke. That's so much damage already. And now they're done. Obo oh! spraying four people down. But the calm with which he did it, just picking them apart. And they never saw what hit them on the other side. Brokey in you know, a one versus five. My God, that's 15 rounds for complexity. I cannot believe that he just hit all of those shots. What an incredible sequence. Oh, Brokey in a one versus five. FaZe is going to be so disgusted with that round. A flawless round right off the back of the other one. That's... Oh, man. I don't know if there's any recovering this. The only good news is that FaZe still have money to buy so they can continue the fight. They need four in a row here. And this is, this is so good. 
so so obo is going to be such a such a good player he's shown in such incredible progress as well 15 to 11 complexity with four chances to close out this map and it looks like they might just they might be able to just do it one final knockout punch to close out this series two to nothing It's all set up. It's all right there in front of them. A couple of people in middle playing. Rush has got an MP9 over at long, so that's not the worst thing in the world. But it could be if he has to go back and try and assist the A-bomb side. On the other hand, Nobo's taking a bit of damage. And FaZe, do they really want to go back to the catwalk play? We haven't really seen the effect of it yet. No, but where else are you going to go? They've been shut down at B. Long has been a pretty big 50-50 gamble with Rush playing there. I think really the only the only actual attack that I haven't really seen FaZe pull off or can recall them, you know, trying to pull off in, in any kind of a mid-round would be like a mid to B split. Yeah. I mean, that could be what they're building here. 40 seconds. Obo and Config in B, Poison and Blame F are far away from helping out in the event of a B-Split, so might actually be worth it. Flashed and jumping down, not catching anyone there, but that's still great news. Now the question becomes, could Config and Obo stay alive inside of this site? They're going to be trying to smoke off the upper part of it, but Config has to go big here in the window. He's going to get one kill. No one's coming in behind him just yet. They're all flashed. They drop in front instead, and a good double kill for him. Is it enough, though? That's the question. Rain is very low on health, but he could catch a single kill on a player here off guard, and he's not going to be able to do it. Somehow gets no scoped. And now it's broke here, Bimas. It's all on this round here. Do they want to go for the retake? They have got a little bit of money behind them, Complexity, but still, it's all, it all matters at this point. Losing these rifles would be really bad news, but at the same time, there's a chance to win it. Brokey getting flashed into the fight. He gets one big kill, spraying down Rush, and I think now they might be running low on time here. They're going to back on out. They see that this is actually not looking doable. And Brokey will even find the kill on Poison. Good round out of face, even if it looked a little bit uh, dicey for a minute. Yeah, well, just as I say, we hadn't seen that in a while. They execute it perfectly with Rain dropping in off Catwalk to hold CT spawn. Even though he goes down, he had the information of numbers and phase. They had just enough utility left. They had two flashes, a smoke, and a Molotov, and those remaining two players inside of the site. They block off the door choke point, focus on window, and it works perfectly. Nice peek from Brokey. Even better that he's able to stay alive. 15 to 12. Bit of stress coming out now for Complexity. And their money is almost gone. If FaZe can win this, we might be staring down overtime. Yeah, that is uh, not that far away right now. Complexity wanted to... S I mean, they had the chance to save three rifles. They made the call at two being left, and one of them got taken away. So, just like that, it's a lot of money down the drain. Cold Sierra taking a lot of damage, but he's still going to win the fight against Rush. He got... Uh Burned, I think, a fair bit there. What a big win now. He poisoned running into two people. He gets one, and he can't pull the trigger fast enough on the second one. That would have been mental as well. Three versus four, and again, you're going to be tempted to want to save this as early as you can almost, because these rifles are what's going to prevent overtime if, if that's possible here. Yeah, and I don't think FaZe is going to have the, the guts to kind of go for this hunt. I think, you know, for the next 10 seconds, they might be thinking there's a possibility of a retake, so everyone's going to stay put where they are. You can see Coldzera already hustling over to T-spawn, but the benefit of these early calls to save for complexity is they're already bunkered down in that B-bomb site. There's going to be no taking this over. So their weapon's never fully cleaned out. And at this stage in the game now, at 15-13, when this round is over... Complexity will not invest anything. Maybe these three players pick up some extra smokes uh, for the upcoming round, but Rush and Poison aren't going to buy anything. They're going to wait. They're going to see if those three rifles can win them the round, win them the map, win them the series. Otherwise, they're going to be playing at 15-14. Ooh, nice kickoff. Really, really good stuff. Even that one kill, that's worth it. Cold. He's standing in the fire waiting for it. If that shot would have gone off a of poison, what a different game. 
It's good that Cold Zera, that the uh, the webcam <laughs> of Cold Zera, not fixed still, <laughs> still just staring at the ground. Um, it's good that Cold Zera actually went and challenged Rush because he's been such a monster at log A. It's good that they put someone there who just says, you know what, I'm gonna put a stop to this. I'm gonna make sure Rush does not feel comfortable here. That's a nice win. Late flashbang. Nico comes out, leads the way. Double kill for FaZe. One round away from forcing overtime, more than likely. Just this one M4 on config to turn the round, and that should be near impossible. Oh, nice shot. Could he go for another one? Poison, no, he's gonna get taken down by Rain. We're setting it up. That, that seemed like it could have uh, could have been a fun little sequence. Now, the USP won't be doing anything. That means we're gonna go the full distance. We're gonna go to round number 30 to figure out if it's uh, either OT or Maybe a chance for complexity to steal it away right at the end. I wonder would they try and and make any kind of wild changes in this round? Or, I mean, are they just going to be banking on the fundamentals? It's not... I mean, their second half here has been pretty decent. They want to string around as the three in a row in the middle of the, of the half here. But they haven't had the same ridiculous dominance that they did in the first half, so... You could you could argue for the for a, for a bit of a change up if you want to go. Like, maybe double push into upper dark or something. Catch someone, take some of this away from phase. That's a huge risk to go for in this kind of a round. I feel like Complexity is just the team to do it. Uh, the biggest problem, that, the reason why I think that that could be a possibility is five of the rounds that five of the last rounds at phase of one, four of them have been plants. But the battle is going to be decided at long. Oh, look at Obo. He's so blind. Into the pit we go. Rush. He stood tall this whole game, and he might just do it. Three on five, he's got a double kill to force phase back. Complexity had four players at the point of defense. Yeah, and Rush, I mean, even on his own, has been great at that defense. But yeah, backup was called in for five versus three. And that is and probably will be a knockout punch here for FaZe. How do you bring this back right now? They even steal a rifle over there. So, I mean, one of those uh, Famasas is now an AK-47 instead. And there's Poison taking down Cold Sierra. The last two on the catwalk. I don't see them doing this. Two on five. Everything has been called. The backup is coming now. And they are so screwed up on catwalk. There is no defense here. What an amazing game this has been. The juggernaut continues. A one on five. And Brokey going down complexity.